Hello, my wonderful readers. This is Jason W. Chan, novelist and storyteller. You know, I have always loved stories, and I've always loved reading. Of all the different media that we can tell a story in, I would say that I love the book form, the novel form, the most. It's because I, just like my protagonist, little Max Jassoy in the Kid Emperor of Opletoria series, I was a lonely little boy. I didn't really fit in. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. And reading these books really allowed me to be transported to another world. And it was a fantasy and escapism. And I'm very grateful to have had those opportunities to go to so many different places in my mind. In many ways, stories saved me. They were a constant comfort and provided solace to an otherwise fairly lonely and solitary existence in my childhood. Maybe it's because I never felt like I really fit in or belonged anywhere. I mean, I grew up in a little suburb called Surrey in the greater Vancouver region of the province of British Columbia in Canada. So with these stories, I mean, they were my saving grace. And I've read, so far, I'm 35 now, but so far I've read at least up to, or beyond, actually, more than, I would say, uh, definitely more than a thousand novels, if you include all those picture books. Well, no, well, actually, no, not picture books. Let me take it back. If you include the chapter books, then it's definitely over a thousand different novels. I mean, I've read so many different series back in the day. Just to name a few, the Great Brain series, which was a more like chapter books for like 10 year olds, I would say. Goosebumps, of course, you know, who didn't read Arl Stein growing up in elementary school, right? Goosebumps and Arl Stein's Fear Street series. I also read a lot of Lois Duncan. Some of you may not be familiar with her name, but you've definitely seen a movie or heard of a movie based on her work. She wrote a novel, and I read the novel, it's called I Know What You Did Last Summer. And that was, of course, turned into a slasher flick, a teen slasher flick later on. I also read, what else? Oh, there's so many. I actually did not like any of the books that we were forced to read in school. I, I actually don't like Shakespeare or anything too intellectual. I like suspense, I like interesting books that grip you and don't let you go. Some would call that the literary equivalent of candy, but candies are popular, right? And they sell, and people love eating candy. There's nothing wrong with it once in a while. In my adult years, I put the books down. I put the books down for a while, I put them away to focus on a career, but I realized, hey, I'll always love storytelling, you know, and I started reading again, and I started writing, but I realized my earlier works, they lacked a certain flow, the narrative flow wasn't good, uh, the prose was awkward, and the transition from paragraph to paragraph was not good. It's because I wasn't reading, so then I went back to my first love, which was reading novels, and I think that with practice and with lots of reading, I improved. So, I, and these are some of my influences. Uh, before I talked about my influences in movie form, and now my influences in book form would be, well, I love Jackie Collins. This It's a shame I didn't have a chance to meet her. She's passed away. But Jackie Collins, sister of... Uh, English actress Joan Collins, who appeared on Dynasty, Jackie Collins, was a number one New York Times bestselling author of mostly Hollywood exposés. It's fiction, of course, you know, but I think a lot of what she wrote about was based on people that she knew because she was the ultimate Hollywood insider. I remember re reading American Star, Rock Star. Hollywood Wives, the Lucky Santangelo series. I think she's very good storyteller, but it was all pretty well written. I mean, 
I consider a book well-written if it's a page-turner. You have to make me want to read your story. You have to make me want to turn the pages in order to find out what happened next. So I thought she was very good, and her New York Times bestsellers speak for themselves, of course. I also like history. So I'm a big history nut, big history fan. I just love reading history because it's just one never-ending story. It's because I love stories so much. And and that's why I like history a lot. So I have read a lot of historical fiction. Uh, it's mostly by Jean Plady, who I believe has also passed away. Uh, a couple of years back. She has lots of pen names like Philippa Carr and Victoria Halt. I learned a lot of history from reading her different sagas. I mean, right now I'm rereading for the second time The Queen from Provence about Eleanor of Provence, daughter of the Count of Provence, who marries King Henry the Third of England and becomes Queen of England. Uh, it's just something about the way she writes that is very easy to digest and easy to follow along and understand. I've also read many of her other series set in different time periods of English history. Uh, for example, her Tudor series set during Tudor England, as well as her later uh, series set in Hanoverian England. And I would be remiss not to mention Sidney Sheldon. He is a master of suspense. Uh, reading his books are always a joy. I mean, I can't wait to... Every time I dive into one of his novels, I can't wait to finish them. Because there's something about the way he writes that makes me want to read it just a little bit more. He is truly the master of suspense. And fortunately, he's also passed away quite recently. I think all of my favorite novelists have have returned to heaven, unfortunately. I would have loved to have had maybe a dinner with them to, you know, pick their brains. You know, talk shop from novelist to novelist. I also like Stephen King. I think he is a very good novelist. He truly understands storytelling. Uh, truth be told, I don't like his novels so much as his short stories. I believe his magnus opuses well well for him I, I know he said he it is his dark tower series which i thought was pretty good too but i must say his short stories are gems they are short enough to digest in one sitting and and when i was reading them i realized hey this guy can truly tell a good story uh the way he reveals certain details early on only to have a an ending at the end and the ending is not that surprising because all the clues have already been given to us in the beginning. So, anyway, Stephen King is very good, too. Oh, and I did also like J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. I mean, I think the whole world did. It became a worldwide phenomenon for a reason. She is an amazing storyteller. I read the first four books of the Harry Potter series. So, you know, very well done to her. So those are some of my influences, and perhaps if you leaf through my novels, you can actually see in what way I have been influenced by those novelists that I just mentioned. Anyway, well, thank you for listening, my wonderful readers, and as usual, keep pursuing your passions.